Hi, this is Kasia Berkner with Urban Fitness Twin Cities, and I'm here today with my husband, Dan, who is here to help me show you a wonderful scapular mobility exercise. So this is all about getting movement in that scapula and your shoulder. So it should feel really good when you do it correctly, but it is a little tricky. So I'm gonna have you start by laying on your side and your arms are gonna go out in front of your shoulders, one hand stacked around top of the other. We have a yoga block for him to put his hand on, or his head on today, um, but you can use a pillow or a rolled up blanket or whatever you have handy. Just something so that you're not craning your neck to keep your head there. So you wanna make sure that shoulder stays down away from your ear, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your shoulder forward, and then your shoulder is gonna pull back. So the tricky part about this exercise is that it all comes from your shoulder blade. So you can see what his hand does in this, but his hand and arm are acting like dead weight. So he's not bending his elbow, he's not moving his arm, he's moving his shoulder. I'm gonna have you flip around so that they can see what your shoulder is doing as well. And your knees can be wherever is comfortable, bent a little bit straighter, just whatever is comfortable. You just wanna make sure that your hips and ribs and knees stay nice and stable. So all the movement is gonna come from this shoulder blade. So drop that shoulder down away from your ear, good. And his shoulder blade's right back here. So what's happening is his shoulder blade is pushing forward away from his spine, and then it's pulling back towards his spine. And that's what's creating the movement for this particular exercise, and that's what makes it a scapular mobility exercise. And you can do anywhere from six to 10. You can do a few more if it feels really good, but it can really help when your shoulders are tight. Just make sure that shoulder doesn't creep up towards your ear as you go. It stays right from the back of that shoulder blade and that shoulder stays down. So we're not getting up into those neck muscles. Good, nice. So that's it for this one. It's really simple in terms of movement, but it's really difficult in terms of isolating in that shoulder blade. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and whatever you do, don't forget to hold your abs.